healthcare stock is better, Johnson & Johnson or AbbVie? Let's take a look. I'm gonna be using three resources for this video. My own website, Seeking Alpha, and MarketWatch. When I first started making these stock fight videos, they were on a dry erase board, but then I thought, hey, wait, why don't I just make a template that I can put on my website for free for everybody? And that's what I did. So you are going to go right here, you're gonna click on the menu, and you're gonna find all these other templates, but today we're looking at the stock fight template. It is fully clickable, so you can click right here. And then I used Seeking Alpha to get stuff like their dividend, their market cap, their dividend growth is here, their valuation is here. And then I used Market Watch to get all of the financial information that I would need to compare these two. So this is what the template looks like all filled out. And you can see that both of these stocks are somewhat similarly priced. However, AbbVie has had much more growth over the last 10 years, up 205%. These are also very large cap companies, although Johnson & Johnson is larger. And they have dividends that are relatively similar, both around 3 to almost 4%. However, AbbVie has much higher five-year dividend growth versus Johnson & Johnson. You can see that here. They're both relatively undervalued compared to the industry average. And looking at revenue from 2019 to 2023, we can see that minus COVID and some stuff like that, Johnson & Johnson is relatively in the same ballpark, whereas AbbVie has just been growing steadily over the years, except for 2023, where it did pull back a little bit. Johnson & Johnson's net income is considerably higher. However, I want to show you something about AbbVie. One thing that you will probably note when doing your research under the income statement tab when you're looking for net income, it's going to be here any second now, is that AbbVie's net income was growing, 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 and then it dropped almost 60% in 2023. Both companies have a lot in total assets. And they also have a decent amount in debt. However, they have been paying it down. And really, if we're talking about debt being a concern, it would not only be skyrocketing debt, but it would get to the point when the debt in the company was more than the company's market cap. That's when I would start to get concerned. And it really isn't. Cash and investments. Obviously, you can see Johnson & Johnson has way more cash and investments than AbbVie. Free cash flow is pretty similar for both companies. And both companies have a pretty, pretty equal one-year price target of around 18 or 14%. For AbbVie, you can see that there are 28 analysts covering the stock, seven strong buys, eight buys, 13 holds and no sells. And Johnson & Johnson has 22 analysts covering the stock with seven strong buys, four buys, 11 holds, and no sells or strong sells. Let me know in the comments below which company you think wins. Don't forget to smash that follow. Thanks for watching. See you later.